Christmas. The Advent reading for December 23rd is The Light of the Whole World. That same night, in amongst the other stars, suddenly a bright new star appeared. Of all the stars in the dark vaulted heavens, this one shone clearer. It blazed in the night and made the other stars look pale beside it. God put it there when his baby son was born, to be like a spotlight shining on him, lighting up the darkness, showing people the way to him. You see, God was like a new daddy. He couldn't keep the good news to himself. He'd been waiting all these long years for this moment, and now he wanted to tell everyone. So he pulled out all the stops. He'd sent an angel to tell Mary the good news. He put a special star in the sky to show where his boy was. And now he was going to send a big choir of angels to sing his happy song to the world. He's here. He's come. Go and see him, my little boy. Now where will you send your splendid choir? To a big concert hall, maybe? Or a palace, perhaps? God sent his to a little hillside outside a little town in the middle of the night. He sent all those angels to sing from a raggedy old bunch of shepherds, watching their sheep outside Bethlehem. In those days, remember, people used to laugh at shepherds and say they were smelly and call them other rude names, which I can't possibly mention here. You see, people thought shepherds were nobodies, just scruffy old riffraff. But God must have thought shepherds were very important indeed, because they are the ones he chose to tell the good news to first. That night, some shepherds were out in the open fields, warming themselves by a campfire. When suddenly the sheep darted, they were frightened by something. The olive trees rustled. What was that? A windy? They turned around. Standing in front of them was a huge warrior of light, blazing in the darkness. Don't be afraid of me, the bright shiny man said. I haven't come to hurt you. I've come to bring you happy news for everyone everywhere. Today, in David's town, in Bethlehem, God's son has been born. You can go and see him. He is sleeping in a manger. Behind the angel, we saw a strange, glowing, glowing cloud. Except it wasn't a cloud. It was angels. Troops and troops of angels, armed with light. And they were singing a beautiful song. Glory to God. To God be fame and honor in all our hooray's. And as quickly as they appeared, the angels left. The shepherds stamped out their fire, left their sheep, and raced down the grassy hill. Through the gates of Bethlehem, down the narrow cobble streets. Through a courtyard, down some steps, 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 past an inn, round a corner, through a hedge, until at last they reached a tumble-down stable. They caught their breath, then quietly, they tiptoed inside. They knelt on the dirt floor. They had heard about this promised child, and now he was here. And now he was here. Heaven's son, the maker of the stars, a baby sleeping in his mother's arms. This baby would be like the bright, that bright star, shining in the sky that night. A light to light up the whole world, chasing away darkness, helping people to see. And the darker the night got, the brighter the stars would shine.